Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program has to accept the any integers and print the integers in a single line until no digit is repeated throughout the integers. Similarly, print the other lines also. So, if no integer is printed, then we have to print minus 1 as the output. Now, we will take our first test case. So, in this test case, we have 7 integers and the digits will be in the empty string so first we have 12 where no digits are repeated we have to print 12 then we have 5 so we'll print 5 then we have 98 so we'll have 98 and then we have 54 where we can clearly see that 5 is being repeated so we must remove all the other digits and print this 54 in the next line. So after that we have 71 and then we have 44. So here 4 is being repeated. So we have to remove the other integers and get 44. In 44 itself 4 is being repeated. So we will remove it also. So since 4 is repeated that digit will not be considered. Then we have 123. Here no digits is repeated. So we will print 123 in the next line. So this will be our output. Now we will take our another test case. So in this test case we have 4 integers. So we have an empty string where we store 202 and we can see that 2 is being repeated. So we will remove this integer and then we have 115. So in 115 also 1 is being repeated so we will remove 115 also and then in 66 6 is being repeated so we'll remove that and then 4124 4 is being repeated so we'll remove 4124 also so since we have no integer we will print minus 1 as the output Get clarifications for any program and clear your program errors effortlessly by using our Instagram page. Programming made simple here. We have mentioned our Insta ID in this video description. Now let us implement our program. First we'll get the inputs that is the integer n and the array. And we have a variable called found equal to false for that minus one case. And then we'll define a function as check digit where we are going to check whether the digits are equal or not. So if the len of yes is equal to equal to the len of set of yes means that is if the digits are not equal then we are going to return true. And now we have a while loop while arr. Here we have the condition that is if the check dig of str of array of 0 is equal to equal to false means that is if the digit itself is repeated means we are going to remove that digit and continue and then we have digits equal to an empty string where we are going to store the previous values 
to compare it with the current values and we have printed equal to false to move to the next line and then we have a for loop for index in range len of array if the check dig of digits plus the str of array of index so if we have the check dig equal to the digits plus str array of index then we are going to print the array of index and use the end argument and the digits will be appended with the array of index and then we'll change the found and the printed equal to true and we use the break in the else part so here we'll have the last index equal to index because this will be easy for that slice operation now if the all digits are printed then this break will not be executed so we have a break in this else part and then we'll print sorry we'll use the condition that is if printed then we are going to print a new line and array is equal to the array of last index the slice operation and if not found then we are going to print minus 1 as the output now let us execute our program we'll pass our first test case so we have got the correct output now we'll pass our second test case here also we have got the correct output now we'll pass our third test case here we have got minus 1 as the output which is correct our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video